हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सी एस ए कंसेप्ट विद परिंदम सो गाइस एज यू मस्ट बी नोइंग व्हाट वी आर डूइंग नाउ डेज इज आई एम टेकिंग अप द गेट प्रीवियसली आस्क्ड क्वेश्चंस स्पेशली आई एम टेकिंग दोस क्वेश्चंस विच टाइप ऑफ सिमिलर क्वेश्चंस आर बीइंग रिपीटेडली आस्क्ड इन गेट राइट सो आई एम टेकिंग दोस क्वेश्चंस फॉर यू एंड हियर आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू द इजीएस्ट पॉसिबल सॉल्यूशन फॉर दोस क्वेश्चंस टू हेल्प यू आउट विद योर गेट प्रिपरेशन सो गाइस टुडे वी आर हियर अगेन विद वन सच क्वेश्चन ऑफ कंपाइलर डिजाइन दिस इज एक्चुअली अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन इन केस लाइक these are the types of questions that are kind of easy but you won't be able to solve it correctly unless you have practiced those questions right so today we are going to see one such question um before this let me tell you that we have already seen more than 25 such gate previously asked questions from different subjects in case you have not visited them yet after going through this question you can go and watch those questions also i will give the link in the i button fine you can go and find out that because those questions are definitely going to help you out with your gate preparation so without wasting much time let's get into the question what is the question given here which one of the following grammars see as you can see uh, this question has been asked in gate 2006 fine which one of the following grammars generates l equal to a raised to i b raised to j such that i is not equal to j see this is very important to understand what they have asked they have given as you can see in the options they have given you four different grammars and they are asking that which of the following grammars generates the language l such that a gives i b gives j and i is not equal to j what this means this means that see i is not equal to j and what is i here i is the number of occurrences of a and j is the number of occurrences of b and they are asking that we should get i is not equal to j that means what out of the four grammar given in options we have to tell that which of these grammars are generating in equal number of a and b which of the following see it is very important to understand the question because solving the question is not that difficult task as understanding the question is so they are asking us to find out the grammar that is able to generate in equal number of i in equal number of a and b that means different numbers of a and b means out of these four grammar we have to pick the um in other sense you can say that out of the following grammar which of the grammar can produce different numbers of a and b that means they should not produce equal numbers like a b a a b b they should not produce triple a triple b they should not produce got it that we have to find out that particular grammar that cannot generate these grammars that means that cannot generate equal number of a's and b's that can only generate different number of a and different number of b that means only a is okay only b is okay uh, a b b is okay triple a b is okay got it so we have to find a grammar that can generate like this different number of a's and b's but that cannot generate this type of equal number of a's and b's i hope the question is clear to you so what we will do is we will take the grammars one by one and we will try to see which kind of grammar is satisfying this thing fine so let's start with a option in the a option they have given us see there are these grammars are very big fine uh, various possibilities are given to us because but we are not going to take every production and check because it is going to take too much of time fine so we will just take one one production and we will try to see if we are getting our uh, question answer from that if not then we have to take many possibilities got it so first of all for a uh, let's take this much as gives a c fine as gives a c now um, if i am replacing this a with a a if i am replacing this a with a a so a a and c 
now if i am replacing this a with null so with null means null means nothing fine so this a will go because i will replace this a with null null means nothing so i will get a capital c now let's see in let's say in capital c if i replace this capital c with b i am getting a b that means i am getting equal number of a and b see a b only a b i should not get fine in the uh, grammar that is desired i should not get a b but here i am getting a b that means equal number of a's and b's i am getting that means a cannot be my answer you are getting i am getting equal number of a's and b's but for the grammar to be the answer i should get different number of a's and b's so a option number a cannot be my answer i have determined this thing fine now let's go and check question number 2 uh, option number 2 see this is the easiest way and the quickest way how you can approach to the answer now in b let's say b is this much grammar now let's say i'm taking s gives as i'm starting with this s gives as now um, s gives as if i simply replace this s with b because s is also giving b so simply if i replace this s with b i am getting ab again equal number of a's and b's that means my b can also not be my correct answer got it now let's go to the c now in c let's say we take you can take any of the possibilities let's say here let me take s gives cb so i will start with s gives cb s gives cb now if i uh, replace this c with my acb i am replacing this c with acb ac small b acb and again this capital b as it is now let's replace this c with null so a null small b as it is and again capital b with null so null a null b null so if i uh, if i cut these two null null means nothing so i'm getting again ab that is the equal numbers of a and b i am getting from c option also that means c option also cannot be my answer so d is there so directly without directly concluding that d is my answer let's go and check d also so if i check d let's say i'm taking this first production as gives ac okay as gives ac now let's replace this a with aa so aa and c as it is now let's replace this c with null fine we are replacing this c with null fine null and this Cap uh, capital a we can replace only small a terminal is there so we can replace this capital a with small a so i will get a a so yes here i am getting two number of a and zero number of b that means i am getting different numbers of a and b as asked so this can be my answer let's check one two more possibilities so if i take again as gives ac but this time let's first of all convert um sorry replace this capital a with small a and c as it is now if i make this c as null replace this c with null so i'm getting a null a null means small a again small a means one number of a and zero number of b's so yes again different number of a and b got it uh, let's take one more possibility s to cb so h to c b c capital b fine now if i replace this c with null and b with small b b with small b i am getting only b again 1 b and 0 a so yes so after taking different possibilities also what i am getting i am getting that continuously i am getting different number of a's and b's i am able to derive different number of a's and b's with the help of d option fine so in this way after analyzing all the options i am getting to know that d is my correct option fine so this is one of the easiest way how you can get into the question get into the answer with the help of this method 
fine i hope this thing is clear to you in case of any doubt you can always ask in the comment section because see, in such questions i have seen people that they are wasting their like 10 minutes 15 minutes 20 minutes of time and still they are going to the wrong question wrong option so the best possible solution is you can go option by option you can eliminate the options first of all understand the question properly then go on eliminating the options and at the end you will be there with the correct option fine so i hope this thing is clear to you in case of any doubt you can always ask in the comment section thank you so much